Good morning, it's April 8. So here's one of your first three videos for April 8. The problems will be on here too. I'm going to do some of these odds. You'll complete all the others that I don't do. So on number one, they wanted 140 degrees drawn in standard position. Well, standard position, you need to think of a XY axis. And this side right here is called the initial side. So this is where all the angles are going to start right there. And we end on the terminal side. So if you think about this, we sort of know that half of a circle is 180. You're supposed to know that. It's large, it's a little bit. And I want to go to 140. So I'm just going to guess that 140 is over here someplace. And you always want to draw this arrow on this curve and write 140 degrees out on the arc. And this side over here is called terminal side. Terminal meaning where it stops. That's why they call it the terminal at the airport. It's where the plane stops. So you go to the terminal. If you have a terminal disease, that's where you stop. Same word. So we go from here, we go around to there, and we quit number three is 390 degrees. So the same thing. I want to start here with my initial side. And I'm going to start like this because I'm looking for 390. Well, that's 90. That's 180. 3 times 9 is 27. This is 27, 270. I come all the way back around to there, I get to 360. So I need to go 30 more. So this is 390 and there's the terminal side right there. This little angle in here is 30, but come on, 360 plus 30 is 390. We had to go around more than once. So when it goes around more than once, you just go with it and go around more than once. Okay, so we better throw two in here. I was just going to do the odds, but on two they gave us a negative angle. Now you may think this is funny because how could you have a negative angle? So one time in, in a, one of my geometry classes, we were discussing if you could have uh, two obtuse angles in a triangle. And some kid yeah, said, yeah, you could have 100 and 100 and a negative 20. Well, it got a big laugh. She can't have a negative angle necessarily in a triangle, but little did he know here when we get in trigonometry, we can have negative angles. So to draw this one, if the angle is negative, never fear, there's your initial side right there. But on positive angles, we go up, we go counterclockwise, but on negatives, we just go the other way. So really all, there's the terminal side, all that this means, write negative 60 on it, is we went clockwise, like the hands of the clock spin this way, instead of, instead of going up, instead of going up, we went down. So there's three examples. So that should be enough for you to do these other six up here at the top, 11 through 16. 
So let's enlarge this a little bit so you can see it. There's 11 through 16 right there at the top. See if we can get them just a little bit better. There we go. That's pretty good. So on the ones that are negative, you're going to go clockwise. And notice this one is bigger than 360, so you're going to have to keep going and just sort of estimate where it stops. The others are less than 360, so you'd be fine. You should be fine on those. And we're over and out, and we'll be back.